when I was a teaching at the University of Nairobi, an Indian who was a technician came to me and said, Raila, there's an Indian who has been sent away from Uganda. In Amin was kicking out Indian from Uganda. And this Indian has uprooted all machinery from his uh, workshop in Jinja. And they're here in the yard of another Indian in Parkland. And he's trying to sell quickly so that he can go to Britain. You may have some work for these machines. So he took me to Parkland and I found this Indian. I looked at all the machines there, the lathe machine, welding, welding machines, uh, sheet metal cutting machines, rolling machines, and so on. I said, these machines can be useful, can start business, and you are selling it at 12,000 shillings, the entire machinery from a, a workshop, which I didn't have. My salary, my salary was 2,000 shillings a month. Then now, I had an Opel left-hand drive, which I had brought from Germany with me. I sold that Opel and got 12,000 to pay that Kalazinga. And I got the machinery, which I used to start my business, East Africa Spectre Limited, today. <laughs> then uh, I went and rented um, a go-down in industrial area. So then called Kingston Road. Kingston Road is now called Kampala Road at that time. And I put in those machinery there. And I started to manufacture casements, windows, steel windows, doors, and so on there. That's how I started. Then a, 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 a Mzungu came to me who was working with Ajip Oil Company and told me that uh, they had the, the shortage of gas cylinders. And they, if I could manufacture, they would be able to buy. I told him I used to work in a cylinder manufacturing company in Germany. So they bought a sample, I retooled, I went to foundry, I got the presses and so on, and started manufacturing cylinders at that time. So now, this German, there's a German who would come here. The Germany had given a Kenya loan to start Kenya industrial estates. So when he came to my workshop and looked at what I was doing, he said, we are trying to create African entrepreneurs. We can't get them because most of them are people coming from villages. Here is somebody who knows what engineering is all about. So this project can qualify for loan. So he's the one who now took me to Kenya Industrial Estate, which was then under ICDC. And then I got loan from ICDC, then headed by Matu Wamai to expand, and that's how I went to Kenya Industrial Estate at that time. 